ants on the ground. Can you see there the buildings in the far distance, dead center of the screen? That is the skyline of Minneapolis. We are actually in a St. Paul suburb. St. Paul's downtown is over here behind these two enormous mountains. I'll talk about these two mounds here, which are the highest points in Ramsey County, in St. Paul, Minnesota, the highest point in elevation, and I'll show you some serious anomalies with these two mounds. Actually, there's three or four of them here, and they all make up a feature. There's one thing. Now, if you want to know more about the feature that I'm speaking about, check out the description. I'll leave two links. They were, I believe, my first videos I ever posted on my channel. And it, I was responding to Bernie, the crypto alchemist, and his work on North American geoglyphs. We have one here, without a doubt. You don't believe me? Check out the video in the description, and then and then um, think again, because uh, this is what you're going to be looking at in that video. This is this is what I'm showing. These are the actual. This is the actual construction of that feature of these mounds. And I'm not sure if there's buildings inside of those mounds, likely, maybe. I'm sure that this whole base has much more um, of an underground aspect than we are told is present here. There's many underground aspects here, which you're, which you're going to see in this video. This is episode two. We are still arriving, and we are breaching the perimeter of the abandoned section of the Army Arden Hills, or the Arden Hills Army training site, which was an old World War II ammunition plant and weapons storage facility. So there, there's many underground aspects here as we were storing chemicals, weapons, ammunition, and um, artillery here at this site during World War II, which they absolutely were. And there's lots of evidence and, um, and uh, paraphernalia left around here from that time weapons, containers, um, all sorts of neat artifacts. So this is the breach of the perimeter. And we're going to look at some things here and let's get into it, baby. Episode two. I love you all. And let's, let's check out this base before it is no longer, which could be very soon. Got that, that round mound. So I'm over here in the dirt, in the military base here, get my hands dirty, got the gloves on though, and I'm checking everything out, I'm digging around, climbing into shit already, so I thought I might as well hit play before it gets dark, and um, I'm riding a skateboard, I'm riding a fucking skateboard, you know what, you know why that's so cool? I'll tell you why, did you forget where we are? I know it's weird, there's no snow, we're in Minnesota, we're in Minnesota, I've never in the 37 years of my life ever, ever ridden a skateboard outside comfortably in the month of December. Never have I, never have I. So, happy, happy day, happy day, baby. We're gonna, we're gonna show you some things here. We're gonna show you some things. What do I mean, we? I'm gonna show you some things here, baby. We're yes, I am. Things. Look at these pipes in here. Oh, this isn't the right one. This isn't the right one. They're all different. They got pipes sticking on the ground. It's a mess. And this was the army ammunition plant in World War II. This was an army ammunition plant, and we will go see some of the lockers, some of the storage ammunition over here. We will see some of these bunkers right here. They're made of wood and masonry. And these are all masonry. I'm not sure if these are testing. It is the army. Right now, it's still used. It's called the Arden Hills Army Training Site. So, Let's start right back here. metal everywhere, every iron chunks. Of, it's just a, this is a, an exploration dream right here. That tells you what. Yes, it is. This place ain't going to be here much longer. It's coming down. They already took down two buildings here. That's why it's flat. There was two big buildings right here on this flat plane. And they're gone. And I want to show you the inside of this little bunker here first. And I'll show you the inside of the smaller one that seems very low in the ground. It is, but I think it's on purpose. These seem to actually be constructed in World War II. And some aspects of these buildings seem to be older. But for the most part, it actually does seem to be a World War II construction. They're using very, very impressive techniques with the masonry and the ironwork you see here and everywhere like but you, you would expect the best of the best at a military base and that's what we have here but i do see many old styles and things that kind of throw me off i see old rendering techniques being used but not to say that the military doesn't know these techniques and use them 
Anyhow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bit off track here. So we come into here and make sure that we've got a man here because it is a very large property here. <laughs> they have lots of lots of woodlands back here and they, that they own on the property. Wetlands and woodlands. And there are lots and lots of game. There's lots of game, big game back there. And, uh, um, and folks, big folks as well. Big folks. You think I'm lying? Come up here then. I'll take you around. I'll take anyone around. Just, just call me up, baby. Come here in the Twin Cities. I'll take you for a trip. Thank you for a ride. This doesn't go. You see, you would think, oh, this is a tunnel going way up. No, it doesn't. It's just, uh, it's just a little open room in there. No bigger than it is this way. Very interesting, though. That's where I'm going if I ever have to hide. Hey, I know where I'm going. Actually, I know a better one than this over here on the site. So, let's find a place to put the skateboard for now. Let's go look at the bunkers first. And I was getting into the buildings. To now, I want to quickly just um, skip over to a different clip here. I want to show you the inside of this little sunken hut here as well. Um, you see the foundations here are not level. They're, they're at angles here. It's just weird. What's going on? I don't know. But, um... Anywho, I'm going to show you the inside of this structure, this little structure here with the pitched roof. Hang on a moment. That's a right here, foundation. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty filled up in there. That probably went a lot. Yeah, it went deeper. There's something there. There's an aspect right there that goes deeper. Uh, that, that little depression right there. This went deeper. But this is military, so I got big metal bars here. That's a heater. That's a fucking heater. In this wood shack. And that's not any heater. <clears throat> that's a serious heater. Holy smokes. I've never seen a unit like that. It's such a small little. And they're using all sorts of fancy old world stuff here in the past when they, when they constructed this stuff. It's all square heads. It makes you really wonder was this an old world military base? I don't know. Could they have had military base? I think they did. I think the Phoenicians were here, you know? Or whoever they were. But that's nice, folks. I have pipes on the ground here. Uh, what's in here? Oh. And then let's uh, have some fun here and check this place out before this gem. It, it is a gem. It's interesting. It's history. This is real history. This is real, real story. I don't know what you could even call it anymore. This is story, baby. This is real story. It ain't a story. This is real shit. Culvert. Culvert right there. Give me a break. No, this is an old site. That's terracotta. That's a terracotta. It is fucking fire. They look at the face. That's a culvert, mind you. That's a culvert. Give me a fight. There might be a coyote in there, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, okay. That is, that is anomalous. So this was the site. That right there just, without a doubt, proved me wrong. This was the site of something. Well, everything is the site of something in the past. But they were clearly utilizing something um, of the past. There's a huge tunnel right here on the ground, obviously. Can you see that? This is a tunnel. Look at the dip. Look at the dip. Here's the tunnel. Here's the tunnel. Can you see it? I mean, maybe you can't. Let's see if you can see over here. Oh, there's pipes everywhere. And they're terracotta. Oh, that, that, that was metal. That's iron. Big pipe. Big pipe in the ground. See here? Oh, there's the access to it. So, see? Big tunnel right here. It goes like this perfectly straight all the way down. We're going to walk along it. Big tunnel here. And here's the entrance to it. And good old folk have been walking up here too. I see footprints. No, I don't see any footprints. These aren't human footprints. Here's the access to it. To this big tunnel. There's a big tunnel right here. You, go, you can see it's big round and it's perfectly straight. We'll walk along here. We'll see. But here's the bunkers. Here's the bunkers. And there's tons of them. You see them all the way lined up here. We have wood and masonry. And they're like houses in there. They're like little houses. They got roofs. Uh, pitched, pitched roofs. I'm standing on top of, I can't get this open with one hand here. No, I can't do it without my pry bar. It's too big. But that's going to go right into this huge tunnel right here. So I'm not sure what that's all about. There's no water, see there's no water drainage here. There's no holes on top or anything. This is for going into, this isn't for water. This is a, this is a tunnel. 
It's not draining. There's no water. The water can't get in there. It's been risen up, so water can't get in there. So that's a tunnel. And I'm walking on top of it right now. It's there's all sorts of pipes and stuff, and weird stuff sticking out of it. So I better get off this thing. It's kind of sketchy. That was just fire like a brand new, beautiful vase straight out of the kiln. Can you see this, city, this tunnel here now? Big tunnel, that was the entrance to it. Man made water features here on this side, running straight along. All man made, all part of the military base. Lots of underground aspects. And that one right there, it's not welded shut. I probably could have opened that two handed, but. Yeah, I, I have a small light with me, just a little headlight with me. And I'm alone. I feel like being in this tunnel. Yeah, see, yeah, now you can see it. Now you can see the tunnel, can't you? That's the tunnel right there. And we just found its, we just found its uh, door. So we can check that out some other day. Coyotes inside. You say, that is true. That's, that's love right there. That's love. This is a coyote fucking hotspot. It really is. In, in these bunkers, that's why I'm a bit nervous to go in there because there's lots of coyotes in there. Big ones. And they've been back here on the trail. Oh, fuck it. No, that's geese. Nope, nope, it's not. That was, that was stupid. Just fern it. Son of a bitch. Usually they scare off, but um, I've seen some big ones back here. Oh, yes. One night or one evening. Um, but I was kind of walking along. I was with some people, but we were back in here and spooked a couple of them. One was pretty big. It was like a wolf. And they took out running for the hill, but and the, one was, the one behind it was pretty big. Yeah, as big as a wolf. Uh, there's one of the trails, too. So, that's love right there. Kind of outside. I almost, I almost was kind of forgetting here, but, you know. Hey, let me quickly mention something here. Let me quickly mention something here. You see how I'm walking along this paved trail and how it's it's overgrowing on the inside of it here, turning into a two-track. Now, I think this is how many roads... You, you see two tracks out in the woods, out in the wilderness. I think many of them were paved roads and that have become two tracks just like this. Just like this. It's a regular paved a drive turning into a two track. And if this crumbles up enough over time, which it will, it's cracking. And if this crumbles up into gravel, it will just be a gravel two, two track. That's all it will be a gravel, a gravel two track. Make some noise so they hear you coming at first. They just don't like to be spooked, is all. They don't like to be walked up on without hearing you. That's what gets them defensive. Oh, the staircase here is melted. It's gone. I don't know. What's the railing for? There's no steps here. Here's like a test building. It's really weird and spooky in there. I'm gonna have to go into it. Here's a mess. There's a heater here, old heater. Just a mess though. It's set to be like a house almost. Look at the paint. It's super spooky. Creepy. It's set up like a house with rooms and such. I've been doing like mock, mock. The heater's laying on the ground. Lots of damage here. Lots of explorers come here and just tear it apart the shrubs. Um, I want to show you some of the bunkers, so let's just do it. Another tunnel entrance. See how there's no water drainage to go in through this? It's not for water, that's for access. Yo! I don't hear anything. Yo! Check it out. Dog man or not, you want to check it out, baby? I ain't no way in here. And these ones are kind of small, but this is what they're like. They're like a house inside, masonry walls, masonry constructions. I'm trying to get my lights here ready for you. Can't see. Door got blown off of it. 
Ah, at least no dog, man. Eh? At, at least no dog, man. Hey, eh? that's correct. Okay, let's see. There we go. Let's check it out. Can we see better here? Here's what it's looking like. Inside, oops. Metal on the, is that metal? No, it's painted like metal. There's wood panels here. And yeah, the ceiling's kind of really coming down. Lots of pipe action in here. So, bunkers of some sort. Here's like Bullet holes. Square head on Lots of bullet yeah, holes. Old units here. Look at that. Square heads on here. Yeah, old units. Hello? Hello? Yo, what was that? Uh, I don't know what that was. Sink on the ground. What I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna leave the skateboard somewhere in the bunkers. Uh, I'm gonna get this ready. I'm gonna quickly get set up here. I'll, I'll be back. Love you all. Take care. Episode three coming soon of many more, many more. Now a guy thought that he was gonna get out here to today, actually, and do some more. Filming, or what do you call it? You know, we don't film anymore, do we? Anywho, uh, recording, capturing footage. I don't know. It's gonna go, but the, but the, it snowed on a guy. It snowed on a guy last night, so not a whole lot. It is still very unusually warm here in the Twin Cities, so I'm gonna just hope for the best and that some of the snow will, will melt off today. And um, I have lots more footage already to share, but. Yeah, there's uh, there's a lot going on here at this base, and I'm I'm not done yet. I have um, likely a few more trips to make here, and a lot more footage to capture, and I already have a lot more to share. Episode three may come up later tonight or tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Love you all. Wholeheartedly. <laughs>